guys, it's Heaven Swinford Backworks. I am going to unmold Summer Fling. Um, my wood mold has a slide out bottom and it can be a pain in the butt, so I just took it out of that already. Um, this was made about a week ago. Um, I didn't have any time off work. So, it's probably pretty hard, but I'm not sure because it is really humid here. We'll see how it goes. That's exactly what I was going for. There's a little bit of crackly effect from heating up, which I knew it would do because of the floral, but oh my god, it smells divine. I love the colors. They came out exactly how I wanted them. Nice and bright and summery, but not too neon. Oh, I'm going to miss that apple pop mica so bad when it's gone. Because I absolutely love it. Um, I did unmold the other two soaps already. Um, I can't get the camera angle right for the nine bar mold, and uh, it's still pretty soft, so I figured I would just wait on that, oh, the outside of that looks kind of like marble, that's really neat, figured I would just wait on that one for the whole week and see if it hardened up any, and it didn't, um, the humidity in this room is, yeah, it's at least 80%, it is really humid in here going to get an air conditioner soon, and I'm hoping that will help with this darn humidity. Let me the other part. I really like how the outside came out like marble. That's really neat. And I will have to play these a bit. My wires always leave my They just smell so fresh and summery. You can pick up hints of the rose, but it's definitely not overpowering. I really like that one. Um, I was worried that the rose would be overpowering or the apple. Um, it's an apple. Um, I think it's from Nature's Garden, but I find it like a perfumey apple. It's way too overpowering. And so this has only got about 5% apple in it, and I would not use any more than that. Um, it's mostly the grapefruit. I wipe my fingers off. Okay. This is the dragon's blood that I didn't get to show the making of because my camera died. Um, with this fragrance, I always get this light. It's almost like ash, but it's under the surface. I have no idea what causes it, but I always get it. And you can see on the sides where it still hasn't gone brown yet. Um, it will all go brown, and you'll just be able to see very light hints of the green throughout it. Um, I just put the green in there. My husband likes it, and you get to see a little bit of it. I will grab a bar quickly as my normal dragon's blood. Now, I normally do this in the five pound mold, and as you can see, you can barely see the green in there. Uh, it is just a dark brown soap, and I will be making um, two batches of this this week, probably, uh, depending on my box gets here from Bramble Berry. I'm having a little trouble with FedEx. 
Um, I will be making a batch today and I will film it. This is the sweet and salty and it actually went so dark brown that you cannot see my white swirl. And it's got a nice layer of ash, which I can't plane off because it'll just crumble. So I might just try and buff it off. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. You can see little bits of lighter brown where the white swirl was, but you definitely cannot see the bright white swirl, which is all right. Um, it still smells absolutely amazing. Um, out of the bottle, I really didn't think I would like the Snickerdoodle and Buttercream, but oh my god, it smells good. Um, I pick up some hazelnut notes in it too. It is just a really good, sweet, yummy smell, and I absolutely love it. Alright, I will be back hopefully shortly with a couple soap making videos. And I hope you guys are having a great day. Thanks for watching.